everyone, it's Morgan from For The Love Of Paper and I am here with a process video for you using this month's Kidaholics Kids. Um, I am making a little collection of tags, kind of like a tag mini album I suppose you would say. Um, and I'm going to be using pretty much all of the kits from Kidaholics Kits this month. And um, the photos I'm using you won't see them till a little bit later. Um, uh, one of each of my family, and I'm just going to record things that we're currently doing and liking and enjoying at the moment. Just a little snapshot. Anyway, I got out some black cardstock to start with and ran it through my big shot using this uh, Tim Holtz tag die. This would have to be my most used die of all time. I love it. And then I also did the same with some white cardstock as well and I wanted the white cardstock to go in the back because I knew that's where I wanted to put my my words and journaling and information so I trimmed them down I don't know like two millimeters on each side of the tag and then adhered them to the black tag so you can still get the the black border around the outside um, with the white space in the middle. So once I've done that, I glued them all together. Um, I think the first couple that I've done up the top there, I actually used tape. And then I realized that using glue was a lot quicker <laughs> and easier. Uh, this process did take me quite a while. Like this whole project took me about an hour and a half. Um, which is quite long for a project, but I guess it wasn't a layout. It was kind of like five mini layouts. <laughs> well, that's what it ended up being. And these are the little, I guess you call it like grommet bits that go on the top of the tag. And I just used some basically scraps that I had cut out from previous projects. Like I used a butterfly wing and I used some other little scrap bits just to cut out those circles. <laughs> As I didn't want to cut into a whole nother 12 by 12 piece of paper when I had all these little bits laying around that were the perfect size. Uh, so that was the front and the base of my tag. Uh, sorry, that was the back and the base of my tag is the black. Uh, now I want to add some pattern paper to the front to build up my front little layouts. So I trim off a piece from each page or well, not each page, but a couple of different pages. I think ones that I'd already cut into minus the camera one. And then run them through the big shot again. And again, the same as my white cardstock, I trim down each side by a couple of millimeters and adhere them to the other side of the black cardstock. And so now all my fronts and backs, they're all the same size. They've all got um, the black border around them to keep them nice and uniform and some pretty pattern paper on the front. So I tried to do two black and white ones and then the pink one and then the rainbow one. So I was gonna have the pink one, the black and white one were gonna be for two of my boys and then the rainbow one is for Sam because he's just, he's a rainbow. <laughs> That's all I could say about him really. He is full of color and now this is when I start building up my layers and my embellishments on each page. Now this part of the process did take me quite a while. I've actually sped this part of the video up, I think times three. Normally I only do times two. I think actually this might be more than that. It's quite, quite sped up <laughs> because it was such a big long piece of the video. So these kits were just perfect for this um, layout. There was lots of um, bits for everyone in the family like, that sort of matched their personality and things like that. Like there was a lot of pink and there was quite a few flowers in this kit, but I managed to use bits and pieces that um, either didn't have a floral on it or I tucked the floral behind and things like that. So I definitely um, stretched this kit out uh, and made it work for for some a little little bit of a masculine sort of um, pages or tags as the case may be. 
So this one here, I really loved that die cut piece. I love the shape. I love the butterfly on it. I love the colors, but I didn't really love the saying or the phrase on it. Um, it just didn't fit with what I was doing. So I covered that up with the photo and then with little heart embellishment. Um, so I could still use the piece that I, that I liked without the part that I didn't like. And I do outline each of my photos with a black Posca pen just to make them pop. Actually, maybe not all of them. I think it might have just been this one and one other. Um, just to make them pop a little bit more because they do tend to blend in with the background um, when you've got a lot of colors and other things happening on the page. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Distraction here. And then this one here is a little heart and I didn't want it quite as high as the foam tape. So I'm adding a quite a few layers. I think I did about five or six layers of double-sided tape on the back of the heart. So it still raised it up a little bit so it wasn't completely flat, but not as much as foam tape. I kind of need like two or three different heights of foam tape, I think. Yeah, I think I need, I need like a half, half height one to the, to the standard stuff. If they make one of those, someone let me know if they do, if that does exist, I want to know where I can get it. So please let me know if there is such thing. I'm sure I've seen a thicker one, but I don't think I've ever seen a thinner one. Maybe I need to make my own. Although my tape, my tape, um, folding it over, that seems to work quite well. And then just added on a few more embellishments to that one and called it done. I think I go back and add some more at the end. Now this one I'm going to make my title page or my title tag. So the banner says happy little moments, which is pretty much exactly what this um, tag album is. They are just happy little moments. And this bird was really cute. So I put that on there, the little hello. And then I think I add a wood veneer heart as well onto that one or a wood veneer something along with some other little doodads that I'm adding on there. What am I adding on there? A sequin and a puffy heart. That's right. And I kept getting glue all over my fingers. So there you see me rubbing my fingers <laughs> and my hands quite a bit. It's because they're all sticky from the blooming glue. I have ordered myself a pair of tweezers um, after watching uh, Virginia's, I think it was her live stream for National Scrapbooking Day. And she had these really cool like bent tweezers. And I decided right there and then that I had to have some of those. So I actually have ordered some and hopefully they'll arrive next week, fingers crossed. And I'm hoping to do a little unboxing video of some supplies that I'm, that I have ordered I've ordered a few new little goodies to play with because I haven't really ordered any scrapbooking supplies in ages. I haven't really been buying much. So yeah, there'll be a, a, what a, a haul video, hopefully next week or the week after, depending on when everything arrives. And this card is Roman's little card. And I had that, the tag, I really liked the tag and it fitted the photo nicely, but I really wanted the little phrase on it. I can't remember. Um, just, just be joy. I think it is something like that. It's got joy in it and I really wanted it, but no matter how I sort of fitted the photo on there, I always covered up the joy. So I just got my little craft knife out and cut that bit out and you don't know that there's a hole behind the photo and I was able to use that as my background piece and also the little phrase on there as well. And... Am I working on Sam's one or Frank's one? Sam's one. Uh, so this was a picture of a bicycle in a little Polaroid, but the bicycle was kind of irrelevant for what I wanted. So I just stuck his photo in there instead, trimmed it down a little bit and stuck it in there. And the phrase on that one says, enjoy, enjoy the ride. That is also Sam. He is a enjoy the ride kind of a kid. Most of the time, <laughs> there's a caveat on that. Most of the time. So here's an example of where I used a floral piece on a bit more of a 
a masculine um, uh, tag. That's what I was looking for. So I, you can really only see the little black bit poking out the bottom and there is a couple of flowers on there but they're tucked in behind so don't be afraid to manipulate your your supplies and what you get in the the kits and or even just like if you buy a packet of embellishments and there's a couple you don't like try and manipulate them to something that does fit for you or does work for you because I know I struggle a lot with flowers I really do because I don't I don't scrap myself all that often and I don't really scrap other female family members all that often, mainly because I don't have photos of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I spilt my sequins. So most of my layouts are of boys. Um, so I try and make the, the products work as best as I can for those sorts of layouts. So yeah, just make everything work for you. And then this was the top half of the tag that I cut off Roman's picture. So I just tucked it in there and then we get a little bit of continuity and it uses up a little scrap that otherwise would have been thrown in the bin. And this one here, again, a floral piece. Oh, I don't end up using the banner one, I use this circle. Again, it's got flowers on it, but I just covered that bit up and used the little circle. Sorry, I'm harping on about that a bit, aren't I? Oh well, I'm just trying to um, give you ideas of different things you can use or different ways to use things that you might otherwise think you can't use or that don't fit with what you've got going on like that camera I really wanted the camera on there but it was a bit too big so I just put half of it on and yeah it works well and again popping this up onto some foam tape to give it a bit more uh, dimension and I don't know what else I add on to this one. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to have a have a drink. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> My mouth was getting a little dry. I don't normally um, talk for this long on process videos because normally my videos are kind of around that 10, 10, 11 minute mark. So this one I think goes for 17 minutes. So it's quite long, um, but it was quite a a complex little project that I put together here. Uh, this, I think I've gone through the sticker sheet, the Simple Stories uh, sticker sheet, and that little circle, one word fitted, oh, it was family, it was like family something, and family fitted, but the other word didn't, so I just chopped it off and <laughs> stuck it on the bottom. The arrow was from one of the exclusive uh, die cut embellishment packs. So stuck that on the side, shoving everything off. And sorry about my background paper. As you can tell, I was doing lots of stamping <laughs> and using my, my desk paper as a stamping ground and also all the little pen marks. So I do apologize that I didn't, um, didn't put some clean, fresh paper down. Um, Usually I do when I start a new process video, but I think I was just so in the zone for creating that I didn't even think about it and just let the camera roll <laughs> as I created. So it's a little bit messy, but at least you know that I've been having fun and creating lots, which is good. Uh, so now just going through the sticker pack and adding in lots of little bits and pieces to each card. Lots of hearts and some words. And I love that cute little bird um, that I put on the stripy one with Roman. I thought that was super cute. And my one, I put a sticker that says, uh, this is me. Because, you know, if anyone is ever going to look at this in, you know, 60, 70 years time, they will know that, that I was the one making this, I suppose. <laughs> oh. I don't think anyone would think it was these two boys or my husband making a um, florally scrapbooking album. So now all my fronts are done, I'm going to work on the back. So I get out my watercolors that came in the mixed media kit. I only use one of them. It's kind of a tealy um, aqua green color that I use. And I just held this piece of plastic. It was actually the divider in that tray you can see in the top of the video there. 
Um, <laughs> well, I just pulled the divider out of there and stuck some water in it and used that as my little paint palette for the day or for this little project. And then I just did some splatters on each card. And that was it. Just something so they weren't completely stark white. Then I put that aside to dry and I actually came back. It was like the next day because, you know, life happens. So I didn't get back to finishing it on that day. And I got out my little stamp sets with an ink pad and I stamped down the words on each one. So the first one I did age, then I did name, and then I did goes by because we've all kind of got nicknames. You know, I go by mum, mummy, mama most of the time. Um, I don't get called Morgan all that often <laughs> these days. Um, so I did, yeah, the name age goes by. And then I accidentally wrote favorite on one of them, but I actually wanted to write currently. So currently eating, currently watching, currently saying, playing. That's what I wanted to do. But for some reason, I forgot that I wanted to do that and I wrote favorite in there. So I kind of had to change it up. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. I suppose I could have gone back and um, put another piece of white card stuck on the back of every single one, but it took so much time that I just rolled with it and um, yeah, it just, yeah. <laughs> It wasn't exactly what I wanted or had planned, but never mind. So going through and just adding on some little journaling lines to each um, each little question box, I suppose, or answer box. I don't know what to call it, really. Just my journaling, I suppose. And then I add in the journaling. So I did my one first. So my age, my name, all the things that people call me, what I'm currently eating, currently watching. We play a lot of games in this house, so my favorite game and things that I'm currently seeing. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.